Hi viewers, welcome to blood test. Today is a topic important for those who are already running a laboratory and those who want to know the cost effective methods of running your diagnostic center while establishing your laboratory. Kindly see this video till the last so that you get all the tips I am going to mention here today to generate more revenue and profit for your diagnostic center. Let's go into the topic. So the first machine you are going to see is about the CBC machine. CBC machine or the cell counter machine is usually available in across all the laboratories. It can either be a three part cell counter, a five part cell counter, six or seven part cell counters. There are various variants of cell counters and all of these have two things in common. That is the cleaner solution and the light solution. So what about this? This is going to be the most important cost factor, which is going to come into your running costs. So how does this occur? So if you're in a CBC machine, if you're a technician or who is a person who's already running a laboratory, you would know this fact well that while owning the machine, while you're switching on the machine and also while you're offing the machine, that is while you're going to shut down the machine, the cell counter machine, it is going to use some amount of the cleaner solution and the light solution to clean the probes. Apart from this, when you're going to keep the machine on and you're not going to use it for maybe 30 minutes to 45 minutes, again, you're going to load a sample. Again, it will wash the probe so that there is no blood clots or any other uh, dust material in the probe. Only after that, it is going to take the sample. So what usually happens is when you're going to keep the machine on for around the six to eight hours in your laboratory and you're going to load one one sample, maybe one sample or two samples in the first hour. And then you're going to leave a space of around one hour. After that, in the second hour, you're going to load another sample. More of these liquids are going to get wasted, which is going to add up to the running cost. So how do you manage this? To manage this, what you have to do is you have to run samples in batch wise so that within some 30 minutes or 20 minutes, you can run a set of around 30 to 40 samples. After that, you can have a gap of around 28 to 29 minutes. And on the 29th minute, make sure you load another sample so that the standby is again extend to another 30 minutes. And within that time, you have to load. Or else, if you're not getting any samples, you're just getting one sample or two samples in the next one hour or two hour, club all the samples, maybe after three hours, again, load it in a batch so that, you know, the amount of cleansing and re-cleansing this uh, probes are getting reduced, thereby you save your cleaner solutions. So the most important point to note in the CBC machine is, Run the samples in batch wise, maybe once in a once in once in an hour or once in two hours, and don't keep running the samples maybe in a gap of 45 minutes. Maybe some machines have a standby time of 30 minutes. Know your standby time and use your CBC machine very effectively. These are some of the methods in which you can cost control or effectively cost control and increase your revenue or generate more profit from your existing diagnostic business or from the business you're going to start for as a diagnostic center. If you have any doubts or if you are interested in establishing your own diagnostic center and would want our help, you can write to us at pathlabstartup at gmail.com. You can also uh, WhatsApp us at the below mentioned number. If you like our videos, kindly subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon. See you tomorrow with another video. Bye-bye. Signing off, Dr. Lalita Center.